welcome to the chapter 2 that is representation of control components up till now we have seen basic mechanical elements basic electrical elements series and parallel electric circuit we have seen problems on series and parallel electric circuit then we have seen series mechanical element parallel mechanical elements grounded chair representation and also we have solved nearly three problems on grounded chair representation today we will solve remaining problems on grounded chair representation therefore example 2 earlier we have seen example 1 therefore today example 2 determine the equation relating f and x the equation relating f and y and the equation relating x and y therefore this is our diagram three elements are there spring k damper b and mass m force f is acting at x coordinate now total coordinates in this diagrams are four which four coordinates coordinate x coordinate y and coordinate z and last coordinate it has, it has ground therefore we will find out now solution that is equation relating to f and x and f and y therefore what is our first step in grounded chair representation we have to see how many coordinates are there and we have to show the force f acting at the top that is acting at x coordinate therefore this is our first step in grounded chair representation draw the four lines line first line indicating x coordinate second line indicating y coordinate third line indicating z coordinate and last line indicating ground as the coordinate and since in this diagram force f is acting at x coordinate therefore here you have to show force f acting at x coordinate now second step is what second step is that we have to insert the elements which elements k b and m according to their original position in the diagram therefore spring k is in between x and y therefore we have to draw spring k here in between x and y damper b is there in between y and z therefore damper b we will draw in between y and z and at the end mass we have to show connected to the z coordinate and we have to grounded we have to show it as grounded therefore this is our grounded chair representation force f is acting k is in between x and y b is in between y and z and at the z mass m is there and at last ground is there therefore spring k damper b and mass m are in parallel spring k damper b and mass m are in parallel therefore we are knowing that we have to find out equation relating to f and x therefore f is equal to zx where z is the impedance of or total impedance of all these elements total impedance of all these elements since these elements are in parallel impedance z is given by how we are writing impedance of parallel elements impedance of parallel elements is given by 1 divided by addition of reciprocals of the impedances of all the elements therefore now f is equal to directly i have written the value of z what is the value of z here 1 divided by 1 upon k plus 1 upon md square plus 1 upon bd into x therefore this is our equation relating to f and x directly i have written value of z here what is the value of z in this equation 1 divided by 1 upon k plus 1 upon md square plus 1 upon bd therefore this is the equation 1 relating f and x next now again same diagram is there now we have to determine the relation between f and y now at y coordinate that is below y coordinate which elements are there damper b and mass m below y coordinate 
only two elements are there damper b and mass m therefore the force f is transmitted through spring k which acts on parallel combination of damper b and mass m mass m and damper b are in parallel therefore the force equation at y is f is equal to 1 divided by 1 upon bd plus 1 upon md square into y equation 2 now directly i have written value of z here since damper b and mass m are in parallel there therefore their impedance z is equal to how what what is the impedance z 1 divided by 1 upon bd plus 1 upon md square therefore you can write f is equal to zy therefore you can substitute value of z here and you can say that f is equal to 1 divided by 1 upon bd plus 1 upon md square into y equation 2 therefore dividing 1 by 2 equation relation between x and y can be determined now next example determine the equation relating f and x the equation relating f and y and the equation relating x and y therefore this is the diagram in which three elements are there spring k mass m damper b spring k is connected one end connected to the ground other end is connected to the mass that is at x coordinate damper b is connect one end is connected connected to the coordinate x other end is connected to the ground and force f is applied at mass m that is at x coordinate therefore you can redraw this diagram how to redraw you can remove this spring from the top and you can attach it, it at the bottom therefore this is our new diagram this is our new diagram mass m is there this spring k we have removed from the top and we have attached it to the bottom therefore spring k here damper b is there force f is acting at mass m and here, here it is here it is x coordinate therefore in this diagram how many coordinates are there two coordinates are there coordinate x and coordinate ground therefore we will draw its grounded chair representation of this diagram therefore what is the first step in case of grounded chair representation first step is you have to draw the coordinates and you have to indicate the force of acting at at the top therefore this is our first step in the grounded chair representation how many coordinates are there two coordinates x and ground therefore we have drawn two lines line first line indicating x coordinate and second line indicating as coordinate ground and force f is acting at x coordinate therefore we have shown force f acting at x coordinate now what is the second step we have to insert the elements as per their position in the original diagram therefore this is our grounded chair representation we have inserted the elements now you just see spring k is connected to the x coordinate and to the ground here therefore spring k is connected to the x coordinate at one end and connected to the ground here damper b is connected to the x coordinate and to the ground here therefore damper b is connected to, connected to the x coordinate at one end and to the ground at the other end now mass m is connected to the x coordinate and always you have to remember that mass should be always grounded therefore mass m you have to extend this x coordinate line like this and you have to connect mass m to the x coordinate and you have to show it as it is grounded therefore this is nothing but your grounded chair representation now we will obtain the equation f and x therefore same diagram is here now from this diagram you are observing that mass m spring k and damper b are in series because these are mechanical elements mass m spring k and damper b are in series therefore force equation for the system is you can directly write down f is equal to md square x plus bdx plus kx 
because this mass m spring k and b are in series that's why we have written like this therefore force f is equal to m d square plus b d plus k into x where m d square plus b d plus k is equal to z m d square plus b d plus k is equal to z z is nothing but total impedance of this three elements total impedance of this three elements is nothing but addition of impedance of this three elements impedance of m is m d square impedance of b damper b is b d impedance of spring k is k therefore you can write down total z total impedance z is equal to m d square plus b d plus k therefore f is equal to z x therefore substituting the value of z you can find out this equation that is f is equal to m d square plus b d plus k into x now next problem same that is determine the equation relating f and x the equation relating f and y and the equation relating x and y this is our diagram mass m is there at y coordinate spring k is there in between x coordinate and y coordinate and damper b is connected to the x coordinate and to the ground and force f is acting at x coordinate hmm? now we will draw its grounded chair representation grounded chair representation of this diagram the what is the first step first step in case of grounded chair rep representation is to identify the coordinates how many coordinates are there three coordinates x y and ground and at the x coordinate force f is acting therefore what is the first step in grounded chair representation this is the first step in grounded chair representation draw three lines 1 2 and 3 indicate first line as x coordinate indicate second line as y coordinate and indicate third line as the ground you have to show ground ground sign and force f you have to show it is acting at x coordinate whatever it is in the original figure therefore what is second step in second step we have to insert the elements as per their original position therefore second step see that we have connected here damper b connecting to the x coordinate at one end and connecting to the ground at the other end because in original diagram damper b is connected to the x coordinate and other end is connected to the ground that's why here damper b is connected that is one end is connected connected to the x coordinate and other end is connected to the ground and this is y coordinate now we will see next step now this completes our grounded chair representation from figure earlier figure just to see k spring k is in between x and y coordinate and mass m is at y coordinate therefore you have to show you indicate here spring k in between x and y and at the coordinate y you have to show mass m therefore this diagram indicates the grounded chair representation now from this diagram you are observing that spring k and mass m are in parallel and these two are in series with damper b therefore damper b is in series with parallel combination of k and m therefore f is equal to what you will write b d x plus z x where z is the impedance of total impedance of k and m now since k and m are in parallel k and m are in parallel therefore their impedance z is given by z is equal to 1 divided by 1 upon k plus 1 upon m d square therefore by simplification we are getting z is equal to 1 divided by m d square plus k divided by k m d square therefore by simplification again z is equal to k m d square divided by k plus m d square 
therefore the equation relating force f with x is given by f is equal to zx therefore substituting value of z here we are getting f is equal to into bracket bd plus kmd square divided by k plus md square into x therefore this is the equation 2 therefore by substituting value of z in earlier equation we are getting this as equation 2 now force relating at y coordinate force relating at y coordinate now at y coordinate only mass is there mass m is there therefore you can write f is equal to md square y equation 3 therefore dividing equation 2 and 3 you can find out relation between x and y now next example determine the re equation relating f and x1 the equation relating f and x2 and the equation relating x sorry x1 and x2 x1 and x2 should be here therefore you just see here add there are three coordinates x1 x2 and ground force f is acting at coordinate x1 spring k1 is there between x1 and x2 coordinate at x2 coordinate mass m2 mass m2 and spring k2 is there one end of the spring k2 is connected to the x2 other end is connected to the ground therefore this is our diagram now we will find out its grounded chain representation therefore what is the first step first step is to to draw the coordinates how many coordinates are there three coordinates x1 x2 and ground therefore draw the three lines x1 x2 and ground line and since force f is, a, is acting at x1 therefore show force f is acting at x1 therefore now you we second step is we have to insert the elements what what are these elements are there we have to insert these elements in this diagram as per their original position therefore mass m1 is connected to the x1 and to the ground therefore mass m1 we have to connect it to the x1 and we have to show it as grounded now in between x1 and x2 what is there spring k1 is there therefore we have to show spring k1 here we will go to the next step again i have drawn this original diagram now spring k1 we have inserted in between x1 and x2 see here spring k1 in between x1 and x2 because in original diagram spring k1 is in between x1 and x2 and at x2 coordinate which two elements are there m2 and k2 therefore at x2 coordinate one end of the k2 is connected to the x2 other end is connected to the ground therefore one end is connected to the x2 other end is connected to the ground and one end of the m2 is connected to the x2 and other end we have to show it as grounded therefore this completes our grounded chair representation of this diagram now we will obtain relation between f and x1 f and x2 and we will determine relation between x1 and x2 therefore again i have drawn this diagram now the impedance of m1 is z1 therefore z1 is equal to m1 d square because impedance of mass is m d square but here m1 is there that's why we have written z1 is equal to m1 d square similarly the impedance of k1 is z2 this impedance of k1 is z2 therefore z2 is equal to k1 now this m2 and k2 are in series the mass m2 and spring k2 are in series therefore their impedance z3 is 
जेड थ्री इज इक्वल टू यम टू डी स्क्वेर प्लस के टू जेड थ्री इज इक्वल टू यम टू डी स्क्वेर प्लस के टू देअर फोर अगेन वी रिड्रॉ दैट डायग्राम इन टर्म्स ऑफ जेड वन जेड टू एंड जेड थ्री देर फॉर सेम फिगर इज देयर जेड वन जेड टू एंड जेड थ्री नाउ फ्रॉम द डायग्राम वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग दैट जेड टू एंड जेड थ्री आर इन पैरल देर फॉर द इम्पिडन्स ऑफ जेड टू एंड जेड थ्री आर इन पैरल देर फॉर देअर इम्पिडन्स जेड फोर इज जेड फोर इज इक्वल टू हाउ वी आर राइटिंग फॉर पैरल कॉम्बिनेशन जेड फोर इज इक्वल टू वन डिवाइडेड बाय वन अपॉन जेड टू प्लस वन अपॉन जेड थ्री देर फॉर सब्सिट्यूटिंग वैल्यूज ऑफ जेड टू एंड जेड थ्री वी आर गेटिंग जेड फोर इज इक्वल टू वन डिवाइडेड बाय वन अपॉन के वन प्लस वन अपॉन एम टू डी स्क्वेयर प्लस के टू नाउ देर फॉर दिस डायग्राम अगेन विल री ड्रॉ आई मीन स्टेड ऑफ जेड टू एंड जेड थ्री वी विल ड्रॉ हियर जेड फोर देर फॉर दिस इज द नेक्स्ट डायग्राम जेड वन विल रिमेन एज इट इज इंस्टेड ऑफ जेड टू एंड जेड थ्री वी आर ड्रॉन हियर जेड फोर therefore z1 and z4 are in series now z1 and z4 are in series therefore their impedance z is given by z is equal to z1 plus z4 therefore substituting values of z1 and z4 z is equal to m1 d square plus 1 divided by 1 upon k1 plus 1 upon m2 d square plus k2 therefore the equation relating f and x1 is given by f is equal to zx1 therefore f is equal to m1 d square plus 1 divided by 1 upon k1 plus 1 divided by m2 d square plus k2 into x1 by simplification we can obtain this equation Similarly, at x2, the equation between f and x2 is f is equal to m2 d square plus k2 into x2 because at x2 coordinate only two elements are there that is mass m2 and spring k2 and they are in series. That's why we have written f is equal to m2 d square plus k2 into x2. Therefore, from the above two relations. equations relation between x1 and x2 can be determined now next example determine the relation relating f and x the equation relating f and y and the equation relating x and y therefore by observing the diagram you can see that mass m is there at x coordinate force f is acting at mass m that is at x coordinate spring k1 is in between x and y coordinate and at the y coordinate spring k2 and damper b2 is there and one end of the damper b2 and spring k2 is connected to the y coordinate and other end is connected to the ground therefore we will draw its grounded chair representation step by step solution now how many coordinates are there three coordinates are there x y and ground therefore draw the three lines And show the force of. Therefore, we are drawn three lines. First line, x1. Sorry, x1. Second line, x2. Consider it as line y. And third coordinate that is ground. Now, instead of x2, consider here y coordinate. Huh? Now, next step, second step in uh, grounded chain representation. Mass m is connected to the ground here and one and other end to the coordinate x therefore you have to show mass m connected to the x coordinate and it is grounded like this now in between x and y coordinate what is there spring k1 is there therefore we will draw here spring k1 like this see that spring k1 i have drawn in between x and y now at y coordinate again we will see this diagram at y coordinate which two elements are there damper b2 and spring k2 therefore one end of the damper b2 and spring k2 is connected to the y coordinate and other end is connected connected to the ground therefore we will insert these two elements here spring k2 and damper b2 here therefore resultant diagram will be 
like this mass m already this is there this is the spring k1 and one end of the spring k2 is connected to the y coordinate other end is to the ground similarly damper b is connected to the y coordinate and other end is to the ground therefore we will find out the equation relating to f and x therefore the impedance for m is z1 therefore z1 is equal to m1 d square sorry here m1 is there Similarly, the impedance for K1 is Z2, therefore Z2 is equal to K2. Again, same diagram is there. K2 and B are in series. Therefore, their impedance Z3 is Z3 is equal to BD plus K2. Z3 is equal to BD plus K2. Now, this Z1, Z2, Z3, we'll draw it again. Therefore, this is nothing but Z1, Z2, Z3. Force F is acting here. Therefore, Z2 and Z3 are in parallel. Z2 and Z3 are in parallel. Therefore, their impedance Z4 is given by Z4 is equal to 1 divided by 1 upon Z2 plus 1 upon Z3. Therefore, substituting the values of Z2 and Z3, we are getting Z4 is equal to 1 divided by 1 upon K1 plus 1 upon BD plus K2. Now, Z4 is replaced by Z2 and Z3 is replaced by Z4. Therefore, Z1 and Z4 now will be now in series. Therefore, same diagram I drawn here. Z1 and Z4 are now in series. Therefore, Z1 and Z4 are in series, therefore their impedance Z is Z is equal to Z1 plus Z4. Therefore, Z is equal to substituting the values of Z1 and Z4, Z is equal to M1 d square plus 1 divided by 1 upon K1 plus 1 upon BD plus K2. Therefore, the equation relating the equation between F and X is f is equal to zx therefore substituting value of z in this equation therefore f is equal to m1 d square plus 1 divided by 1 upon k1 plus 1 upon bd plus k2 into x therefore we will find out equation relating to y therefore again i have drawn the fig figure at y coordinate which two elements are there k2 and b therefore the relation between f and y is f is equal to bd plus k2 into y bd plus k2 into y therefore we will see next example example 7 determine the equation relating f and x f and y and x and y now in this diagram two springs are there k1 and k2 k1 is in between x and y coordinate and k2 is connected to the y coordinate here and other end is to the ground and force f is transmitted through these two springs this k1 and k2 are in parallel k1 and k2 are in parallel therefore we will directly write down the equation k1 and k2 are in parallel therefore what how to write impedance of parallel combination f is equal to zx where z is the impedance of total impedance of k1 and k2 Therefore, Z is equal to, since K1 and K2 are in parallel, therefore Z is equal to 1 divided by 1 upon K1 plus 1 upon K2. Therefore, Z is equal to, by simplification, we are getting Z is equal to K1, K2 divided by K1 plus K2. Therefore, substituting this value here, we are getting F is equal to K1, K2 divided by K1 plus K2 into X equation 1. Now at y coordinate only one element is there that is spring k2 therefore directly you can write down f is equal to force f is transmitted through the spring k1 and acts on spring k2 at y therefore directly you can write down f is equal to k2y equation 2 therefore dividing equation 1 by 2 we are getting k2y is equal to k1 k2 divided by k1 plus k2 into x therefore you can write down y upon x is equal to k1 divided by k1 plus k2 because k to this k2 and this k2 will get 
cancelled. Now we will see last example. Now you just see in this example, damper B and spring K they are in parallel. Damper B is in between X and Y coordinate. Spring K is connected to the Y coordinate and to the ground here, and force F is transmitted through the damper B and spring K. Therefore, directly we will write down their equation. Therefore, solution damper B and spring K are in parallel. Therefore, their impedance Z is given by F is equal to first of all we will write down force equation F is equal to Zx, where Z is the total impedance of this damper B and K. Damper B and spring K are connected in parallel. Therefore, Z is equal to 1 divided by 1 upon BD plus 1 upon K. Therefore, substitute this value of Z in this equation. We are getting F. Z is equal to what? By simplification, BD K divided by K plus BD. Therefore, substitute this value of Z here. Therefore, we are getting F is equal to BDK divided by K plus BD into X equation 2. Now, at Y coordinate, only spring K is there. Therefore, you can write down F is equal to KY. Therefore, dividing equation this 2 and 3, we are getting the relation between X and Y. That is, this k and k will get cancelled therefore y upon x is equal to bd divided by k plus bd therefore this completes our problems on grounded chair representation and relation between f and x f and y and x and y please study it carefully i have shown correctly each and every step i have written here for your understanding okay we will stop here